Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I just want to show you how you can use Chibi AI to come up with some ideas to write about for your topics. It's actually pretty easy. Um, it's <laughs> I have a similar video where I show you how to do this with shortly, but it's way easier in Chibi. And uh, just want to show you real quick. I'm going to go to the Govi RGB lamp uh, document where I already have a seed. Now, the seed, of course, is important. I'll discuss it a little bit more uh, towards the end. But essentially what you would do is you just go after the, your seed. And then in article mode, you could do something like headlines, right? Just go ahead and click on the headlines button. Chibi's going to drum up some ideas um, for, for things you might consider using as the headline for this article. But you could use these headlines for ideas of things to write about, right? Free energy, how to buy a Govi RGB lamp for free energy. <laughs> Govi offers the best RGB lighting in the market today. Um, let's see, the ways to use RGB light bulbs, what you need to know about RGB lighting. These are things that could just be extensions of the same article or uh, whole articles on their own. And, and that would just be a few headline ideas and you can of course keep going um, one note if you're at the bottom of the list and you don't want this stuff to take into account you don't want you don't want chibi to think about that when he's coming up with more ideas about things then you can just go up here just highlight this and then smart lock that content and now chibi will ignore everything else he's only going to pay attention to what's been locked and so now you can put your cursor at the end of that list and you can just keep hitting headlines and he's going to keep coming up with more and more and more. You can just keep on going. So eventually you get to the point where, I mean, obviously some of them are going to be uh, similar or, or even very close to the same. So you're going to want to like look through the list and kind of pick and choose ones that look interesting to you. But it's a really quick way to kind of get some ideas. Okay, so that's headlines. Now you can also have Chibi ask questions about your content and that's what you would do here. We've already got it smart locked. We could put the questions there and uh, get some or just tap that questions button and get some questions about in this case the RGB lamp and that's because over here I have the topic and also obviously the seed has a bunch of content in there about it. And so you can see that there's some questions you might consider either answering in this in the current article you're writing, if you need more content ideas for that, or you could maybe think of, uh, you know, a sort of a listicle type of uh, an article that you might want to write that's got a, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 answers to some of these questions. And again, it's locked, so you could keep hitting questions to get more and more and more. Also, article mode has questions, but so does persona mode, and they're actually wired a little bit differently. So the types of questions that should come from this one should be different than what the other one comes up with. <laughs> yes, yeah, so so the questions inside of persona mode, there it, it is where Chibi is going to try to help you think of questions that you would ask about your persona so that you can craft a really interesting persona story for your for your target reader. But if you use that against your regular content, it can come up with some different sort of angles on the questions um, than the article modes version of the questions button. So it is it is a little bit different. Just pay a little bit of attention to that. And um, yeah, so if you want to get some questions, that's how you could do that. And finally, under persona mode, Chibi just has a content ideas button. Now, this is originally designed to give you the ability to, after you've written a persona story, you can use the content ideas button to sort of extract content ideas out of the persona story. Um, similar in, to what you would do if you were manually trying to do it based on what you might learn in the persona SEO book that I wrote. So it, it can work against regular content too. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the content ideas. And notice how uh, to the side of the button, it's got little list icons. That's because when you use these buttons, they're going to produce a list of content. Whereas like some of these, you got a paragraph, copywriting, pretty much all paragraphs. Uh, they have benefits too, which is a list. But you can tell if it's a paragraph or a list that's going to come out based on that. So when you get content ideas, it's specifically trying to give you something to write about. So here it says write about RGB lamps and why you might consider investing in them. 
Write about why you should choose the best RGB light lamp type for every application. Write about why LED lighting is the future and just so on and so forth, you know, um, to where you can just have a plethora of ideas based off of doing this. Now, Chibi is using, in this case, I smart locked here. So it's using just this, but you should pay attention to this seed, right? And make sure that it's really rich, has a lot of quality content in it so that Chibi has more to work with. In fact, if you already have a tool like Phrase, where it's like an AI research assistant, you could use it to go and get some topical relevant keywords and kind of make sure you kind of use them in the seed. And then you'll end up with something that can really power Chibi to come up with some ideas for you. So that's all I wanted to share in this video. Hopefully you can come up with a ton of content ideas for your next uh, few hundred blog posts maybe. And in next uh, next video, I'm probably going to start covering some more of these buttons over here to uh, dive more into Chibi and explain how to use it since it's such a brand new tool. So next time, take care.